very much you might expect from you all for your instructions at all times. Take a break, the ball break clean, defend yourselves at all times, and the best look to you both. Touch gloves. Well, there's a buzz in the arena. Anthony Yard has the bearing of a superstar. Will he become one? His first time in front of a British crowd since he stopped Travis Reeves in five at the Royal Albert Hall back in March 2019. Up against Alex Tenan of Colombia, who uh, certainly has a decent past, just a little bit less sure about his present. Southport, first at Yarder's face since Darius Shek. That was uh, back in June 2018. Confident look straight away about uh, Anthony Yard on that front foot. That right hand there, and also that left hook of his. Dangerous shot. That's the shot that he'll want to get close and use um, tonight, Dave. Get around the, the front hand of his opponent. Deliver that left hook. We've got to get the feet into position. But yeah, he started very confidently, always in tremendous shape, Anthony Yard. And like I say, he'll want to look good and, and show us what power he's got tonight. Alex Terran actually had a good win back in May. Thanks to Adama Asumanu, albeit a 40-year-old Adama Asumanu. Of Gennady Golovkin back in 2014 and went 12 with Daniel Giel a couple of years before that. It's a decent win, but... This feels like something else entirely, particularly for a fighter who spent a lot of his career at middleweight. You can see that size difference as Yard starts to test Terran here. Yeah, straight away, just closing that gap down and using that short little right hand. A little chopping shot, there's the left up there. Oh, we spoke about and he's delivered a good punch three, to the body. Four, what a five, shot that is. Six, and Terran seven, is struggling eight, here. Grimacing in real pain, just beat the count. The end, though, might not be too far away because he still looks hurt. Yeah, and that's that hook that we spoke about earlier, Dave. I mean, Anthony Yard has got a great right hand, hasn't he? But also the left hook, dangerous shot, and especially against the southpaw. And he gets the feet into position around the guard or just under the elbow. That one was delivered. And yes, and again, straight on cue. Right on cue. Superb accuracy from Yard. And Tenan isn't going to beat the count this time. Anthony Yard back with a win. Made it look so easy. The power, the punch picking, the accuracy. That was excellent from Anthony Yard. Yeah, he's, you know, he's done what he's had to do, and at the end of the day, you, you beat what's in front of you, and he's just taking him out with a couple of good left hooks, a couple of shots to the body. He started to get into the contest, Anthony Yard, but switched the attacks downstairs and just tested his opponent with a couple of decent left hooks under the elbow, under the right elbow, his opponent, and he couldn't take the power. He's got excellent power, as um, Anthony Yard, in his right hand and now, obviously, that left hook that we've spoke about, and he, like I said... Terrific punches, and his opponent couldn't take the power. Not sure we learnt too much, but Anthony Yard soaks up the adulation and thinks of challenges ahead, but here's the finish, Richard. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at it now. The switch is downstairs, doesn't he? There's the, the one hook and then the other. So it's a double left hook to the head and then switches downstairs after the uppercut. This is it there, and just... It's almost like a glancing shot, if anything, but... Teran just couldn't take the power there. Let's have a look here, and this is the finish, I think. Oh, and there's that left hook again, just under the elbow of his opponent. So, yeah, he's gone through camp, and he's looked good. We've said he needed to look good tonight, and he's got his opponent out of there. And, and you, know, you can't say anything else, Dave, can you? I mean, a lot of people will complain about the opponent, but, you know, he hasn't been able to take the power, that's it. Absolutely. Well, Yard did say that that Arthur fight taught him he needs to look for KOs and not just do rounds. Well, again, a bit like you're saying, at least he did that and uh, 
he found a way early. Terran is uh, sat down uh, an Anthony Yard stool, and obviously we want him to be OK before we move on. And Anthony Yard just concerned over there. He's uh, taking oxygen, as you can see in the background there, Alex Terran. But uh, two shots that hurt him badly to the body. And, of course, all the necessary medical measures now being undertaken. Yeah, and I think he would have liked probably a few rounds under his belt if he's looking at that Lyndon Arthur rematch. He probably wanted to get um, some rounds under his belt, but, you know, he doesn't get paid for overtime. He's tested his opponent out downstairs, and he hasn't been able to take um, his power, so it's a good night's work for him. He's looked good. Much harder contests are going to come up, and now we'll look forward to that Lyndon Arthur contest but like I say he's gone through a training camp got back into the the way he does things in terms of preparing for a contest which is really really important well Thomas is ready just to make things official ladies and gentlemen here is the official time two minutes 32 seconds of round number one our referee John Latham reaches the count of 10 therefore your winner by way of count out Anthony, the beast from the east, your Tougher test to come, of course, much tougher. But Anthony Yard is back, is tonight's headline.